Hi everyone, as you can imagine by the title, I am indeed reviewing Zion's brand new M20C RGB pocket light, and this does not disappoint. So let me show you the build quality, talk you through the special features of this light, and give you a couple of notes just in case you do want to purchase it by the end of the video. There will be a link in the description below. Now let's take a look at what exactly comes in the box. So you get your service card, instruction manual, and of course you get the light itself. You also get a USB-C charging cable, which can then charge from the USB-C port at the top of the light. And you get a very nice sleek looking silver drawstring bag for the light as well, which is really nice. Okay, so let's have a look at the build quality of this actual RGB light. Now it's absolutely fantastic. The actual shell of it, so in its sort of naked form, if you will, is plastic. It's pretty strong plastic, so I feel like if I drop this, it'd be absolutely fine. It's not cheap material whatsoever. And then you've got the dials here. So if we turn this on by tapping once, you'll then get the Zion pop up just like you do on the gimbals. You've got a fan at the back here, and there's a lot of aeration here at the back, the sides, and at the top. There is a slight diffusion on the light here, and there are 100 LEDs behind this. So yeah, I've got a very powerful light indeed and it is 20 watts. So this is four times as strong as the Aperture MC. It's a lot of power in a tiny little light that is so small, in fact, it's the same size as a post-it note. It's literally the same size as a post-it note. It will fit in your pocket easily, very, very durable, very, very adaptable. You can take it anywhere with ease. You also get with the combo pack, a sort of cage that comes with it. Now this is again, strong plastic. It's not metal this particular bit, but pop it in close the gate and voila, you've got this nice and nestled into the cage. Now with the cage, you've actually got three cold tube mounts, one at the top, one at the side, and one at the opposite side, as well as a quarter inch screw at the bottom with a shoe mount. So you can put that onto a tripod, you can put that onto anything. And you can also put these onto a stand with multiple RGB lights from this Zion range. So you can sync them up all together and use this with an app really, really useful if that's something that you're into. Now, something you definitely should notice is that there are magnets at each corner of this light, and this is where things get really, really interesting. So if you think this diffusion isn't quite enough for what you want, magnetically, it stays on your light like so and gives you a softer image. Very, very easy to do, and it holds on very strong. I've also got a honeycomb grid to direct your light in more of a singular direction. That goes on as well, so you've got the diffusion, and the honeycomb grid. And, and this is one of my favorite features of this whole light. You get barn fricking doors on this pocket sized light. It's such a cool idea. Zion have really gone out of the box here for this one. That also sticks onto it magnetically. So now you've got this beast of a light that's got a 20 watt power RGB and you've got diffusion, honeycomb grid and barn doors. So you could direct the light even more and stop it from flooding areas that you don't want it going into. So they really have thought of every kind of thing that you'd want as an accessory with this light as well. Really, really well built. And these side doors for the barn doors are metal. So you're not gonna have any problem breaking these. These are very, very, very strong, really well built, super solid unit. So in order to use this, this is the on button and the mode button. So that will change what mode you're going to on the actual menu. And then the dial here will change your settings. So whether it's the brightness of something, the saturation of something, the hue of something, that will change the settings that you're choosing with the left side. So this light also ranges down from 2,500 Kelvin, which as you can see from my hand, if I pull that away, is very, very warm color, kind of like that tungsten candle almost color temperature, all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin, which is extremely cool. It's a cool as you can get for the color temperature verging on sort of moonlight kind of coloring. Really, really, really bright as well. Now this lighting is currently at 10% on 5600 Kelvin. So as you can see, this light is really bright. I've got the diffusion, I've got the uh, honeycomb filter on it as well, but you can see 10% is super bright. If we bring it up to 25, bringing it to 25 is noticeably different. We are still getting out of that Blair Witch kind of lighting at the moment. This is at 50%, this is 75%, and this is at 100%. It's actually quite blinding at this point now. It is a bit like having the sun in your face. It is extremely powerful. And even as like a fill light, you could use this in some situations, particularly for closer up shots of interviews and things like that, as a key light, maybe with a bit more diffusion. Now to give you a slight strange idea of how bright this is, this is at 100% about 
six foot, eight foot away from that curtain in the background. So it does light up a room fairly well, but you couldn't use this to light up a whole room. It's not strong enough for that. Now let's move on to the special features of this light. One being the music mode. Now music mode, as you can imagine right now from me talking, is it reacts to a bassy sound. So if you've got a song that has a beat that goes like, boom, 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 it's gonna react to all of it. So if you're doing a music video or something like that, it's gonna look so cool and you can change the coloring of this as well, especially if you are making things like music videos, this is something that could be really, really helpful. So these are the sound effects. So this is an SOS light flashing. This is paparazzi, which I think looks pretty cool. Candlelight, if they're having a nice romantic meal perhaps, not with that barbed wire baseball bat, but still. This is like a bad bulb, so if there's a light above them or around them, it's flickering and not working very well. TV. This is lightning. This is a strobe effect. Now something to note as well with these, you can change the speed of them as well, which I really, really like. So you get ultimate customization within these scenes. This is CCT loops. This is the color temperature loop. So it's going from warmer to cooler temperature, cooler to warmer, etc., etc. You can change the speed of that as well. CCT flash, pulse, police car, and even disco. Or a romantic fireworks. And you can do a hue loop as well, so it goes through all the different colors of the color circle. Hue flash, you can change the hue on that, different color. Hue pulse. Now you can also get a green and magenta shift. So if we go down here, you can use the right dial. So you can go from minus 10, which is more magenta, as you'll see on my hand here, all the way into a much more sort of green adjusted shot. So you get a slightly sort of cooler look to your shots as well. Now a neat feature on this light that you get only with the combo version, so whether you have the RGB or the bicolor combo version, is that on the back of the cage you've got a rubber plated magnetic strip. So wherever you're filming, if you can't use a tripod because you can't fit it in a certain area or you just running out of accessories to mount this onto, stick it somewhere magnetic and you've all of a sudden got yourself a nice spot to put a rim light or a fill light to really add depth in your lighting to a scene. If you're wondering how strong the magnets are on these filters, I'm shaking it pretty hard and they're not coming off. If I shake it very hard, they're not coming off. If I go crazy with it, they're still not coming off. So either I'm weak or these are really strong. And I'd like to think it's the latter. You'll be paying $139 for the basic RGB kit, the M20C, $169 for the multi-combo pack with all the filters. For the bicolor one, the M20, you're looking at $89 for the basic pack and 119 for the pack with all the filters and barn doors. Now there are two things that I want you to know before you consider buying this. First of all, it is not weatherproof, which means if you take it outside, if it's raining, there is a good chance you're gonna get water inside this light. There are open gratings around the light to keep it cool, which is what you need when you're using a 20 watt mini light. It's incredibly powerful, so it needs that fan, but it does mean it comes at the cost of not being weather resistant outside. So if it's damp, it's probably not a good idea to use it outside. But in terms of being dust proof, I would say if you're keeping it in its little string pull bag that you get with it, it's not gonna be an issue. If you're someone who leaves lights lying around, then maybe it would be. Second of all is the fan itself. It is actually relatively loud for the size of fan that it is. Now here's the fan working on the lights. I'm just gonna put my microphone down to it to see if you can hear. Now that is with me with the microphone right next to the light. If I pull away to one foot, that's the sound. So I would say if you're at about two to three feet, that's kind of the range where you might start to hear it on a microphone. If you're closer than that, you will. If you're further away, you won't. However, if you're shooting photography shots and commercial shots for products where you're actually using music over the top, the fan won't be an issue. Now, despite those couple of notes, this is still the best RGB light I have come across. It is so versatile, it is so adaptable. I love the barn doors that come with it. It makes you feel like you've got a big movie light, but drawn into a little pocket light rather than some massive gigantic rocket launcher thing. This is definitely something I'm gonna use as an accent light in the backgrounds of scenes, maybe as fill light as well, and to create some scenes as well with that lightning effect and the flickering light bulb, things like that, as well as the candle. So overall, I'm very, very impressed with it 
and I would highly recommend getting this, particularly if you're not gonna be using it close to a microphone. If you've enjoyed this video and you're wondering what app I shot this on, I shot this on Cinema P3 Pro camera and a tutorial for that app on iOS devices only is right here, right now for you to watch. See you on the next one, take care, bye bye.